In this screencast, I'm going to quickly show you how to convert a metaball model into a mesh model. And the reason we would do this is because, quite frankly, meshes are more powerful. Metaballs are handy as a kind of Play-Doh sculptural modeling space, but meshes are where the real power of Blender lies. To do this, I'm going to select the actual meta shape, the conglomeration of all the various meta balls and tubes and ellipses and whatnot that I've put together here. I just right click on, this, on the solid shape, I ignore all the halos, and then I'm going to open up my spacebar menu and go to Object, Convert Object Type. You know, this is Alt C if you want to get here quickly. It asks me if I want to convert to a mesh and keep the original, that is, keep my, all my meta balls, or delete the original. Because I'm inherently conservative, I'm going to choose Mesh, Keep Original. And all of a sudden, nothing really happens. I'm going to switch over here in the right-hand pane to the Outliner view. I just clicked on the, on the grid there. I'm going to the Outliner view. This lists every object that's in my model. And if we look at this, we see that I have a whole lot of metaballs here. Metaball 1, 2, blah, 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 all the way up to 11. that have these little fluffy clouds next to them. And then there's this new metaball, 12, that has this triangle icon next to it. All these fluffy clouds are actual real metaballs. This last one here is a mesh. And the reason it's called a metaball is because the shape that it was converted from was a metaball. So I'm actually going to go over here and rename this object. Down here in my button panel, I'm going to call this Mesh Teddy Bear. Oops, with two Ds. And the other thing I'm going to do so that I don't get confused is that I'm actually going to turn off all of my other metaballs. I do that just by clicking the little eyeball icon next to the metaballs in this outline list. And we see that as I do that, my metaballs disappear. I have just the mesh. And in fact, if I want to make sure that these things render the way, I, the, way I, the way I want them to, I'll also turn off the little landscape icon here. So my metaballs still exist. If I mess something up in my mesh, I can go back and retrieve the metaballs. But right now, I'm just working with the mesh. And I can switch back from the outline view to 3D view, and I've got my mesh right here that I can work with.